Hey everybody, welcome back to the D-Rich Show. This is D-Rich and today is Wednesday, August 4th, 2021. How's everybody doing out there today in the world? I hope that uh, you guys are doing well. And again, I hope that this video finds you all in good health, good spirits, and good energy. Folks, we're midweek hump day. And again, we're pushing through. We got a lot of different information coming out on many different sectors um, out there. So we want to kind of keep our eyes on that but again i always want to make sure that i appreciate every single one of you the subscribers to the channel um you guys make the channel go you guys um you guys give me the inspiration to continue to do my due diligence every single day allowing me to go and do some research myself and come back to you with the information that i provide for your consumption so again i want to thank you all um, this is your channel, the People's Channel, the Crypto Spaces Channel, um, where you can come to and you can learn anything and everything crypto. So I really, really appreciate all of you. So again, if you want to hit that thumbs up button, you want to hit that like button, the subscribe button, if I'm worthy of a subscribe, as well as sharing the content on your favorite platforms, it is greatly appreciated. And again, if you guys are on Rumble, hit that Rumble button and um, everything else. So I appreciate you on the moment many different platforms that I upload the content to so I'm um, talking to you folks as well um, even on YouTube so here we go today um, we're gonna be getting into Tezos um, XTZ okay and we're gonna talk a little bit about that we're gonna talk a little bit about some staking and some of the partnerships that they have and again I will always will go over different um, assets that I hold myself so I don't want to be um, promoting anything that I might um, be misleading on so I don't never want to do that but anyway let's go ahead and get into this coin market cap while Bitcoin's dominance is at 48.4 percent here and Ethereum has jumped up to 20.2 percent and the total global crypto market cap right now stands at uh, 1.52 trillion which is a decrease of 3.56 percent from yesterday and again folks I want to make sure that um, the video echoing um, is acknowledged because I had a difficult time yesterday with my OBS so I just want to point that out there so if I found, sound a little funky um, please forgive me um, I'm going to be working um, over the weekend to try to resolve the issues I'm having a lot of different uh, technical issues but uh, we're going to uh, work through it and do the best that we can to get the content out um, so at least you can hear what I'm saying um, I apologize if it's echoing um, but you know just do me a favor turn the volume down a little bit and then um, we will um, hopefully um, not echo in your eardrums as you're listening to today's video so I just wanted to point that out up front so if there's any um, you know concerns or um, things that you know come up I, w I want you to know firsthand from me so anyway Bitcoin right now thirty nine thousand twenty one dollars twenty cents there um, starting to look like it's on an upward uh, trajectory we got ethereum at two thousand six hundred and eight dollars and six pennies as it uh, is up three point seven five percent in the last 24 hours there and we got binance coin bnb three hundred and twenty nine dollars and five cents while cardano is at a dollar thirty six sitting at the number five spot there up point two percent and our beloved XRP trying to hit the 72 uh, 72 cents. So again, folks, I always encourage everyone to do their own due diligence. Um, but XRP, again, I always will say that it should be your foundation um, to um, what you are building when it comes to your portfolio. Um, this is never financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, but you know what? Um, XRP, to me, is the... Um, the bear, uh, you know, the bearer of what this market is going to um, be here um, in a reckon. So I encourage you um, to continue to stack those bags when it comes to XRP. You got uh, the USDC uh, coin there, 27.4 billion still. Um, and then you got Dogecoin sitting at number eight at almost 20 cents there for itself. Polkadot, $18.45 at number nine. And Uniswap is um, pushing back into the top 10 as $22.38. And 
and overall if we scroll down folks you can look at the market uh, for yourself a little green um, which is um, some good news for all of us for those who are uh, looking to take profit I highly encourage you to do so but when I say do that um, don't go wasting your money don't go spending it on um, things that you can actually just wait um, if that is the case because what I want you to do is make sure you take care of everything that is um, appropriate but don't go you know burning a hole in your pocket because otherwise you might as well just have left it there so again we're looking at the market for um, opportunities we're looking at the market for gems we're looking at market for you know like you know accumulation we want to look at all of those things as a whole so anyway let's get right into it so crypto.com if you have a crypto.com app um, on July 29th I didn't realize this um, they listed polymath poly okay you can buy poly at uh, true cost with USD euro GBP and 20 plus other fiat currencies so again folks polymath is there um, it's listed on crypto.com and joins the growing list of 100 plus supported cryptocurrencies as well as stable coins including Bitcoin ether polka dot chain link v chain USDC and crypto dot or coin which is crow so anyway folks it was um, a missed opportunity for me to report that back to you yesterday on yesterday's video but I wanted to follow up with it today so you kind of understand that uh, polymath is going to be stepping on the scene um, real quick so anyway I wanted to also leave this with you from app Apson, uh, app Aspen security forum dot org and this is their uh, security forum, um, which is the virtual conference. And today um, they're going to be having another um, conference. So I want to make sure that you guys are um, checking that out. I do believe we have some known faces here. I guess this thing that. Okay, so you got GG right there, Gary Gensler. Look at my man Brad over there checking him out. All right, looking the same. But anyway, um, just wanted to leave that there. You can actually register right there for free for day two. Fortunately, I won't be able to um, get on because I have to go down to the state uh, later today here in about two hours. So I want to make sure that we get the number one, we get the video up, we get this information out to you before um, you know you have an opportunity to check it out if that's what you want to do today. So anyway, like I said, we'll be talking about Tezo. So go ahead and give them a follow there. Um, at Tezos and if you're on Twitter you can also give me a follow here at DRich5531 and I always like to um, point out their um, Twitter handle or their Twitter page so that you can all, always refer back to them in case um, you're missing something so there's a lot of good information coming from them with their tweets and everything so I highly encourage you to go do that um, when when it comes to that and right here what they say Tezos is a self amending cryptographic ledger and it achieves uh, consensus not just about the state of a ledger but about the state of its own protocol so what we're gonna do here is always go to coin gecko and do something separate from the actual coin market cap right there that we went over first price is at uh, three dollars and ten cents sitting at number uh, 47 in the coin market cap rank and then you got their um, website here, Tezos.com, Tezos.Foundation. Always go and try to read their white paper. And then you also have the Explorers here and the Wallets, Ledger, and the Trezor. And we'll get into the uh, Ledger here uh, in a little bit. And then, again, you can also join their community um, on Reddit, Twitter, and form.tezos, um, agora.org. And their source code is always on. Uh, well, this one is on Git lab and then their API ID Tezos and then you got some tags which is smart contract platform so anyway we're gonna look at the price and market stats here so we kinda get a better understanding of what's going on um, you got the um, 24 hour low and high of three dollars and three dollars and nine cents respectively and then we have um, again the market rank at number 47 with an all-time low of 35 cents which was uh, December 7, 2018, a little bit over two years ago, and then their all-time high 
um, with this coin is eight dollars and twenty seven cents which is about three months ago may 7th of 2021 in the last bull market so again um, it has some upward um, trajectory and momentum that is uh, need to be had so we want to make sure that if this is something that you want to get yourself into add to your portfolio um, there's many benefits of um, actually holding uh, tezos so we want to point that out for you today so here is a little bit of information tezos coin price and market data um, tezos is a coin created by a former morgan stanley analyst arthur brightman and it is a smart contract platform which is um, which does not involve um, in Tezos mining coins and it is also a coin that promotes themselves on a major ideas of self-amendment and on-chain governance and then it is an ethereum like blockchain um, that hosts the smart contracts and it also allows the community to vote and improve its flaws any token holder may be able to delegate their voting rights to others in the network and the coin uh, uses a generic network shell which allow different transactions and consensus protocols that a blockchain needs to be compatible so folks go ahead and read the rest of that for yourselves i'm going to always leave the information in the description and then we're going to jump right into their website here at tezos.com tezos a blockchain designed to evolve which is security focused upgradable and also built to last evolutionary revolutionary and everything in between that is what tezos is you got institutional grade security you got governance by the people and it is also energy efficient algorithm smarter smart contracts seamlessly forklessly endlessly upgradable and then also powerfully scalable so i'll let you read those little tidbits there uh, for your consumption there i'm not going to read all of it I just want to get through um, some of the key points of what Tezos is. And then here you go. You can meet Tezos, smart contracts, smart governance, and smart design. Tezos is an open source platform that addresses key barriers facing blockchain adoption for assets, as well as applications backed by a global community of validators, researchers, as well as builders. And by design, Tezos embraces long-term upgradability, open participation, collaboration, and smart contract safety you can work on tezos you can learn more here click those little links there and then you can also upgrade the timeline or the timeline upgraded a community govern which is also ever evolving technological vision um, tezos continuously adds the latest innovation seamlessly leveling up to deliver novel and new capabilities within the space through its upgrade mechanism and you can also see how far we've come and help us imagine where Tezos will go in the future. Okay, and then you got the upcoming um, protocol upgrade, which is um, one day, 18 hours, Granada. And um, a new proposal has been submitted and is being evaluated and considered by the community. And then you can also learn about it here by clicking this here, okay? And then in May of 2021, you have Florence. Uh, double maximum size of operations, which more than double the maximum size of smart contracts. Uh, further gas optimizations, as well as sped up gas arithmetic by a factor of 10. And enable more intuitive smart contract development by adopting depth, first execution order, and deactivated unused test chains in the economic protocol, resulting in more streamlined um, amendment process. And then February 2021, 20, you had Edo, or Edo, um, at its uh, sapling and BS, BLS 12-381 um, to enable privacy preserving smart contracts and tickets for native permissions. Updated amendment processes by lowering period length to five cycles and adding a fifth adoption period. And then September of 20. 20 you had delphi which also improved the gas cost reduced storage cost by a factor of four to reflect the improvements in the underlying storage lane uh, layer and then you had uh, march of 2020 carthage 2019 babylon athens and you got you get the idea so 
I just want to go ahead and leave that there um, for you all to consume. And then careers, you're going to help us change the world one block at a time. And then you can also browse the latest job postings across the Tezos ecosystem. Tezos is the product of many organizations across the globe working together on an open source project. And don't see the perfect role for you, but want to work on Tezos, reach out to the work of Tezos Mailbox. Include your resume, what you're looking for, and why you're excited to work on Tezos. And resumes are shared with a number of organizations in the Tezos ecosystem. So again, folks, I mean, it might not be a job that you're looking for, um, but it's an opportunity for you to try to get your foot in the door. If that's something that you want to do, submit that resume there and see what happens. I mean, some, you know, what, what do you have to lose um, when it comes to just submitting your resume? You will be surprised um, with the way technology and everything else is moving forward. Um, if you have something to offer, if you have some sort of skill set, I'm pretty sure that they can find something for you. And then here you can catch the latest news, catch the latest news from around Tezos, the ecosystem, um, from exciting partnerships to insightful educational articles about the technology that makes Tezos truly special. So you had July 28, 2021, you had these announcements here, and then you had um, some other stuff here um, that um, you can read over as well. Okay. And again, you can... Um, follow um, them on these little platforms down here okay and then you got the general learn build community as well as careers and then the technology again is their white paper getting started developer portal and tezos wiki as well as gitlab so i'll leave all of this in the description for you folks for you to continue to go over and now that we are to this point of the video i want to talk to you about ledger uh, the Ledger Nano or the Ledger, you know, staking rewards, um, staking Tezos with Ledger. You can earn money while holding Tezos, which is what I do. All of my Tezos is on my uh, Ledger, and I receive uh, staking rewards every other day. And this is like any. Uh, this is not like any other um, digital asset that I hold. I get, um, you know, besides Power Piggy, where they pay you every single day here the benefits of holding it on your ledger is is tenfold compared to any other um, staking that I've done so staking is the process of holding funds in a cryptocurrency wallet to support the operations of a blockchain network and in return holders are rewarded for the contributions and this can be compared to earning interest in a traditional bank and Tezos is a multi-purpose blockchain which uses proof-of-stake protocol to secure its network and token holders can delegate their accounts to a validator who will be in charge of securing the network on their behalf and the user may then earn the rewards generated miners the validator fees and here are the rewards uh, when staking um, you can earn a passive income by t uh, participating in the Tezos network via delegation and the current annual yield on Tezos is around a 6% uh, minus the validator fees and you can also use staking rewards calculator to estimate your monthly earnings and when you first start delegating it will take roughly five weeks for you to receive your first rewards from your validator and after this you can expect rewards about every three days it's actually two days so i just want to go ahead and clarify that um, with that so um, here are your um, other benefits to staking tezos i'll leave that here and again, folks, I highly encourage you to get your digital assets off the exchanges if you can and place it either on a ledger or a trezor or a decent wallet so that you, you know, have control over um, building your portfolio, having control over your assets so that nothing happens. OK, so there's like no SIM swap or any um, thing like that that has happened to me um, on Coinbase. Coinbase does um, do staking, but I no longer lose use their platform because of of what happened to me, and they never um, reached back to me um, in regards to trying to get a resolution with that. Okay, um, that was my go-to exchange, but you know, Bitru is now my go-to exchange, and um, others that are growing on me like KuCoin and Hotbit. So anyway, folks, let's move forward. There's a 
this is uh, from publish ox 0 xcom and what this is about here um, we'll go over boom let's click that out I don't want that there um, here is a full list of Tezos partnerships of 2021 this is uh, released March 16th of 2020 okay and um, here is the list um, I'll go over it okay just real quick the list of partnerships you got tribe graduate school um, of information communication globe cap banco btg pactual domo capital e rt zero alliance investments taurus group tomo chain metaverse dna um andrew capital um the imdea software institute nomadic labs korea university blockchain research institute moby mainframe um enria tri uh, tirades or tirades um, Ocamo Labs, okay, and then you got um, B9 Lab, Kingsland. I don't know all of these folks, so you know I'm just making sure that you um, are following some of these. If you want to go look at them, and if you do know them, um, you know here's an opportunity for you to be like, okay, I see that connection. Um, Bonnie Vinci, uh, Satoshi Treasure Hunt, RF International, Obsidian uh, Systems. And then here's the detailed list of partnerships as you continue to scroll down the page um, you can read a little bit more um, about the partnerships uh, there and what those um, companies provide and then here this is coming from redbull.com tezos joins the charge as the official blockchain partner and this article is written on 520 of 2021 and then this is also written by Red Bull Racing Honda. New multi-year technical partnership with the energy efficient blockchain Tezos. Red Bull Racing Honda today confirms a new multi-year technical partnership with Tezos, the world's most advanced blockchain, as the team's official blockchain partner. The energy efficient blockchain Tezos has been selected by the team to build its first ever NFT fan experience. Tezos is a pioneer and energy efficient open source blockchain for assets as well as applications that are similar to formula one and is constantly evolving with the very latest industry advancement and by design tezos uses a more energy efficient approach to a secure uh, to secure its network which means it can operate cleanly with minimal energy consumption and a negligible carbon footprint so folks i mean we all know what Red Bull is. Um, you know, I indulge from time to time. I guess, you know, you got the new um, flavors out, which is um, the green can, the dragon fruit, and the, the watermelon one. Those are like my favorite ones. So, you know, I'm not opposed to um, drinking a Red Bull from time to time. So, again, um, Tezo's ability to remain at the cutting edge of the blockchain technology makes it a natural fit for Red Bull Racing. So I wanted to um, just touch base on this real quick. When I was actually doing red carpet events, um, I was um, able to um, do one of their events when it came to um, these uh, racing cars and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and find those pictures because I took a ton of pictures um, of these uh, Formula One cars and vehicles. And I just want to share with you some of the things that I've been able to do um, while doing uh, security work or you know executive security red carpet events things like that I want to share with you and show you some of the bad ass vehicles that I was able to see and then actually did uh, you know some street uh, racing on um, Hollywood Boulevard and Highland between them um, where I used to kind of work when it comes to some of the events that took place on that street so anyway um, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, this is a journey. I'm going to let you know a lot of little small details about myself, about some of the things, some of the work that I used to do, some of the people that I used to meet um, when I was actually doing um, some events down in Hollywood. No longer there. Thank God. So anyway, here is another one. This is coming from McLaren.com. Okay. We all know about McLaren. So if you're into like your Bugattis or your 
your your Lambo buying opportunities when your crypto actually peaks. Let me just tell you, there's other um, vehicles out there, okay? And I do like the McLaren, okay? It's a little, it looks tough. Tezos was selected by McLaren Racing for a multi-year technical partnership to cost Formula One. And again, let me go back. It was on June 17th of 2021 that this partnership came into existence. Um, a technical partnership across Formula One, IndyCar, and eSports. Tezos, the world's most advanced blockchain, is the team's official blockchain partner. And McLaren will use the energy-efficient and upgradable network to create non-fungible tokens. Um, fan experience, McLaren will also bring most illustrious racing heritage and the most exciting driver lineups across multiple racing teams, which will offer an unrivaled and engaging NFT fan experience based on the Tezos blockchain. So folks, for folks that think that NFTs are going to go away, um, I'm sorry to disappoint you, they're not. Just like De DeFi came onto the scene, you have meme coins come onto the scene, you had NFTs, there's going to be more uh, things that will come out of everything uh, when it comes to blockchain everything so you know get ready to get excited we just talked about um, tokenizing real estate we you know there's going to be major disruptions across the board when it comes to the financial sectors um, where different money flows um, inflows and outflows uh, come so you know kind of wrap your mind around that and know this is bigger than we can actually imagine um, Tezos is an open uh, source blockchain for assets and applications that continuously evolves through the efficient on-chain governance and upgrades. And for Tezos and McLaren, the sustainability through innovation go hand in hand, which embraces clean NFTs and energy efficient networks that ensures that the impact of the new medium to share creative expression is not offset by unnecessarily high energy consumption. And unlike traditional proof of work blockchains, Tezos pioneering proof of excuse me proof of stake mechanism is significantly more energy efficient approach to securing its network using two million times less energy than um, proof of work networks like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and this also allows Tezos to operate cleanly with minimal energy consumption and negligible carbon footprint, and part. As part of the partnership, Tezos branding will be represented across the McLaren Formula One team and Aero McLaren SP team, including on the race suits of McLaren F1 drivers, Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo, which I was able to meet um, during these during this um, event that I worked a few years ago, um, and Pato Award and Felix Rosenquist. All right, so again, um, here you go. You can look at the rest of that um, there. Boom, it's going to be on their um, vehicles there, folks. And then if you wanted to go to their McLaren.com website, check out their vehicles. Um, I'm going to leave that here for you to do so. Some of the baddest looking cars over here. So if you're into like Lambos and all of this other stuff, you know, there's other vehicles out there that can make you look... Um, you know a lot fresher i guess you know if you want to say that so i'll leave that here for you um you got tezos there and um this is just um, amazing because they're t attacking a different um system they're t attacking a different network which is you know formula one which is big a lot of people love racing um fast cars um things like that so i just want to leave that here for you and then finally, this is coming from news.bitcoin.com. Decentralized crowdfunding platform Rocket Launchpad launches in the Tezos ecosystem. And this was released one hour ago. Okay. One hour ago, August 4th. Okay. So um, waking up to do the video, um, I came across this article that popped out to me. So I wanted to make sure I report on it before I end the video. Press release Rocket Launchpad, Launchpad is launching a Tezos based. IDO platform allowing users to invest in the latest Tezos based project and this is coming from Tortola British Virgin Islands recently the Tezos ecosystem has been several has seen several high profile um, partnerships um, including collaborations with McLaren and Red Bull Racing 
and since its launch the number of projects currently using Tezos has grown uh, to a total of 135 and that as its popularity continues to rise a need for an efficient means to support early stage project um, is steadily starting to appear within the ecosystem rocket launchpad is providing the solution for developing Tezos based projects with the aim to keep and grow the ecosystem's fast pace of development and then here is what is rocket launchpad rocket launchpad enables users to participate in pre-sales and early, early liquidity farming for projects in the Tezos ecosystem using one easy to use interface and the launch pad will also vet each project's code thoroughly ensuring each project is secure scalable as well as it achieves the founders objectives rocket launchpad aims to leverage this assurance to open up a larger bank of resources for investment in and support for the ecosystem so here you go folks I'll go ahead and leave the rest for you um, in the description you got the rocket launchpad will be steering the Tezos ecosystem and then the future of rocket launchpad you can read there so anyway folks I want to leave it there at that I hope that you got some good information from me today uh, when it comes to Tezos and why I do believe that you should actually have um, some of this in your portfolio continue to um, uh, stack it up you know I know it's three dollars but again um, if you are trying to dollar cost average I do believe that the price will eventually appreciate and again I'm a long-term hodler on in all the projects that I hold um, yes I trade in and out of some you know if I, if I feel like there's something better or I've researched something better um, for myself and my portfolio so um, again I'll keep you up to date when I do do some things um, if I'm taking profit when I'm taking profit I want to make sure that you guys are aware so you guys are not left behind um, and say well he never said anything about taking profits on those well I always want to try to be transparent um, when it comes to that type of stuff and um, anything that again I I hold I will go over on the channel so anyway, folks, have a great hump day. Have a great rest of your day, um, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Um, always stay safe. Keep your head on the swivel. Um, there's a lot of happenings going on in the world, and I want to make sure that you guys are safe and you guys are taking care of everything and everyone around you uh, so that we can you know, get through um, whatever uh, we need to get through whenever it comes, if it comes. So anyway, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll do some more recap on some other digital currencies or assets that we've uh, gone over on the channel over the last several months so that we can get those updates and that we're you know, still being refreshed on some of the latest news, even when it comes to XRP, even when it comes to the SEC, things like that. We want to make sure that we're uh, keeping up to date with the news, not just promoting um, different assets. So anyway, God bless. Take care. And as always, treat everyone with class, dignity, and respect. Bye-bye.